Well, there you have it, Packer fans. It's happening. The moment that most of you have been wishing would happen is going to happen. This is not clickbait. The Green Bay Packers are going to part ways with Jimmy Graham. They are going to release him effective tomorrow. And he will be set to be a free agent. So what do you think of them apples? What do you think of them apples, guys? I've said my piece on Jimmy before. I've gone on this channel to given him, giving him the benefit of the doubt last year when things did not go so well for him in his first season with the Packers. There was definitely a lot of disappointment. There was all kinds of talk about him, you know, being terrible. He was horrible. Why is he on this team? Cut him now. Well, and I'm going to get to those reasons as to why the Packers in the best interest of the team and how teams go and structure contracts and how they work in order to make the best decision. The first thing to point out is the hefty deal that we gave him and the amount of money outright we had to pay Jimmy and according to the numbers that they are just too much. So here is Jimmy's contract here according to spotrack.com his first year at age 31 he was going to get per a pretty hefty deal here starting out with a small cap hit but over 12 million in dead cap so by virtue of that the dead cap would have been just too much to be able to part ways with in year one but then the number went down a little bit more in 2019 but it was still too much and that's why the Packers couldn't uh, just re to, to, to just part ways with a, a $12 million dead cap hit here for Jimmy. So that made a lot of sense to just keep him around, obviously because of you're just going to have to pay him that much money to be on, to be on the streets or on, on, on another team for nothing. I thought that it was possible with Matt LaFleur coming on with his new offense that Jimmy would be able to find a really good role for him. I thought he would be able to do a little bit better job in terms of uh, yardage-wise and touchdowns. That just wasn't the case. When you look at the two years that Jimmy was here, the first year he got 55 catches, 636 yards, and two touchdowns, which the 636 was actually only second to Devontae Adams. He outplayed guys like Randall Cobb. He outplayed the rookies, uh, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, St. Brown, he was arguably the team's best tight end at the time because we didn't have Jay Sternberger then and Mercedes Lewis, who was signed also in addition with Jimmy that year, was relegated to his blocking duties. And then that was even before Robert Tanyan came up. So Jimmy Graham was the best tight end on this team. And he you can say that he was an adequate starter throughout this time. But when you just go by the stats alone... And not the game tape or the film or what else you don't see on the field. You know, when it comes to blocking, team leadership, those things that are that are not seen. You could argue that this was a horrible signing to 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 start with. How does it say paying up a huge amount of money for a thirty-one-year-old tight end was very risky? But at the time, I'm pretty sure a lot of people loved the signing. There was so much talk about. Jimmy Graham being the red zone weapon for Aaron Rodgers, essentially taking over uh, Jordy's role in the red zone. There was a lot of talk about that, and that was a good reason to get excited about. That's all I have to really say on the news of Jimmy being released. It was just going to be a matter of time when the Packers were going to make this move. It was It's the right move when you look at the uh, how much money you can save. You can actually save $8 million just by... Uh, releasing him now and you have very little dead money in terms of you know what you have to pay Jimmy to say goodbye but anyways I would like to give my uh fair my final farewell to Jimmy Graham Jimmy G I would like to thank him for the services he provided here in Green Bay even though it wasn't much but it was a pleasure to have him on the roster and I was excited to have him come be a part of the Packers. So I think I'll just end this video here. I'll catch you guys later. Go Pack Go.